Hi YouTube, this is Mike and I have two purposes of this video. Number one is going to be how to convert global positioning system coordinates, otherwise known as GPS points, from a text file into a GPX file. And number two, how to get that GPX file or any GPX file into all trails. And I'm going to be doing this based on a hike here in Branch Whitney's book, Hiking Las Vegas. The hike that I chose is one that I like and I might like to lead someday. It's called Bridge Mountain via Nor the North Peak Wash. It starts on page 102 and um, Branch tries to describe what to do in pictures and words, but I always manage to get lost somehow anyway. So at the end of his each chapter, he includes some waypoints. So these are GPS points that you should shoot for along the hike. So um, I am going to take those points in his book and eventually get them into a track and download it into my GPS. So let's get started. The first step is that you're going to need to take the GPS coordinates and put them into text. I already did that because I didn't want to waste your time. Now, there are different ways of expressing GPS coordinates. The way you usually see it done in writing is with north, south, east, west notation. But in the program I'm about to show you, it doesn't like any letters at all. It just wants numbers. So I'm going to explain to you how to convert them to the file that the GPX converter likes. With the latitude, if the number is in the northern hemisphere, just leave it alone and get rid of the N. If it's in the southern hemisphere, then you're going to put a negative symbol in front of the number. Moving on to the longitude, if the longitude coordinate is in the western hemisphere, then put a negative symbol in front of it. And if it's the eastern symbol, excuse me, the eastern hemisphere, then leave it alone. So anything in North America is going to start with a positive number and end with a negative number, just like you are looking at here. So next I'm going to copy and paste these coordinates into the program that converts it. This is the website that I like to convert GPS coordinates into a GPX file. So let's start by putting them into this latitude longitude pairs box. And let's bring back up Excel. So here are our pairs of GPS points. And I'm going to paste that into there. And let's give this a name. We'll call it um, Bridge Mountain via North Peak Wash. And click Convert. And in this box here, we have what needs to go into our GPX file. So let's bring back Notepad. Copy and paste that into there. So here's what a GPX file looks like, just FYI. And let's save that. There we go. I already had a file by that name. And now we're ready to go to All Trails and import that file into it. We are now at alltrails.com, which I highly recommend. And what I'm about to do, I think you need to pay for the enhanced subscription as I do. So I'm going to go to Saved and then click on Create Map and then Upload from File. And then I'm going to click on the file I just created and then Open and then Next and then it says it was uploaded. So let's check on that. Let's click on Saved, My Maps, and there it is. There is the map from Branch's book. 
and let's give it a name. How do I do that? Click on edit map and give it a name. Bridge Mountain via North Peak Wash. Save custom map. Map saved. And I believe that is it. So I hope you enjoyed that video and understood everything that I did. Of goes without saying, if something wasn't clear, go back and go back and rewind and replay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave your comments below, which I may check from time to time. And hope to see you in another one of my videos later. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.